This video will cover the topic, matching graphs with rational functions, two vertical asymptotes. Let's say that we are given the function f of x equals 3x plus 6 over x squared plus 2x minus 8. And we have these six graphs. We want to match this function with the correct graph. So to do that, we are going to have to figure out what the graph looks like. When I look at this equation, it seems so difficult. How do I even start to figure out what the graph looks like without a graphing calculator? Let's break it up. Our first step is to find the places on the graph where the function does not exist. So we are looking for the asymptotes. To do so, we need to factor and simplify the function as much as we can. We can factor the numerator to 3 times the quantity of x plus 2, and we can factor the denominator to x plus 4 times x minus 2. So the function is now written as f of x equals 3 times the quantity of x plus 2 all over x plus 4 times x minus 2. So now that I have that, how do I find the asymptotes? Start with the denominator. The vertical asymptotes can be found from the denominator. At the points where the denominator is equal to 0, there will be vertical asymptotes because those are places where the function does not exist. We can see from our denominator that there's a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 4 and x equals 2 because the denominator equals 0 at these points. Are there any horizontal asymptotes? Yes, there is one. We look at the degrees of the numerator and the de denominator. If the degree of the numerator is less than the, de than the degree of the denominator, then there is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. So we can see that the degree for the numerator is 1, and the degree for the denominator is 2. So that means there is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. We can now draw our asymptotes on a separate graph. As we can see, these asymptotes at least give us an idea of where we will see the different parts of the graph. But now we will find how they look. One more thing to be noted is that at x equals negative 2, the numerator is equal to 0. And because we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0, the graph also does not exist at this point. So the domain of this graph is written as negative infinity to negative 4 united with negative 4 to negative 2 united with negative 2 to positive 2 united with 2 to infinity. For each of these intervals, the function is either negative or positive. Using some test values of x for each interval, such as in the first interval, x equals negative 5. In the second interval, x equals negative 3. In the third interval, x equals 0. Or in the fourth interval, maybe x equals 3 or x equals 4. We will then see that f is negative in the first interval, f is positive in the second interval, f is negative in the third interval, and f is positive in the fourth interval. Seeing the sign of the function in each interval, we can see that the correct graph must be graph B. Okay, that makes sense to me. Although it can be a little difficult, I see that all we have to do is factor the function, then use the numerator and denominator to find the asymptotes and other non-real values of the function. Then I find the sign of the function in each interval to get an idea of what the graph looks like. Exactly. When we break it up like this, we can turn what looks like a hard problem into a fairly simple one. 